no matter how many times you try to convince Hoyaverse to do those kinds of things, it won't happen. And the reason as to why I have no plans to go back and play this game again after the video of the version 2.8 Summer Fantasia events is because of an article between GameSpot and the developers from Hoyaverse. And as it turns out, nothing really piques my interest in regards to in-game contents and also the following skins for the Traveler since we have no new confirmation in regards to additional features or skins for the Traveler depending on what region you're staying or something. But with the article, it completely confirms that none of those things will happen ever again. Well, so far so good. The thumbnail of the current video that I'm watching right now, which is actually new, is the version 3.2 Akasha Pulses, the Cobble Flame Rises trailer of Genjin Impact, which will be releasing, I think, around the 4th November, I guess. I don't know. I think it's around November or maybe the second week of November. I just can't tell. But I haven't been updated for the recent news so far from Hoyaverse in regards to this one. But the thumbnail itself looks promising, I would say. But uh, I don't know what are the other juicy details that may be included on this one. In fact, they already released the version 3.2 special program. So I might as well have to watch it after this one. Or maybe not because I already get bored. Because basically they just have to shortcut everything. Including the character wishes, the weapon wishes, the limited time events. And also the free character redeem once you finish the event. Well, I don't know. So I guess this will be the reaction video for version 3.2 of Genshin Impact so might as well have to not waste time talking so let us begin and before we continue hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to get notified for the upcoming videos in my channel and also hit the like button if you find this enjoyable and yeah just hit the dislike button if you find this video unenjoyable so without further ado let's just get into it and with the standard logo of Hoyaverse nice imagine this we have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. We have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Mm -hmm. Did I just see something dart by? Mm, nothing special so far. All I can see is Al Haytham uh, doing a bit of monologue at the desert. And yeah, it looks like Port Ormos has been completely infested with the Fatui or something. And. Wait, I think I see a harbinger right there. It must be the Tori. Anyway. Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. <sighs> Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Interesting. But now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. A new gameplay, I would say, for Kusanali or Nahida to be specific. But it was actually weird that I don't know, I think she's a catalyst or something, but the way she attacks the enemies, it's somehow I just want to have fun with the enemies or something. And then with the some kind of a screen camera shot or something with the camera and emote that she got right there. Mm kind of weird but it was actually pretty nice to see her doing that kind of thing in game and who's this is it way for an extension Layla huh. ha! Not now. Stars, shine for me. I completely recognize that voice actor at the beginning I'm pretty sure it's the voice actress for Barbara. I can completely, can, I can, I am 100% sure that the voice actor behind Lila is also the same voice actor from Barbara. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Another cube this time, and it's a dendro. Well, I guess the hypostasis family has been completed. I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty sure they have no plans to add the Abyss Hypostasis or the Light Hypostasis or something. <laughs> if they're gonna add that, if they are gonna have, if they have plans to add these two, well, I'm dead for sure. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Hmm. So, you think this is over? No. 
It's not Wait. over. No. I can't. Ah, she's crying. Boohoo. <laughs> That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Mm-hmm. The Balladeer has ah. already already become a god? Nah, I'm not no I'm pretty sure he's not a god. God of wisdom. Okay. Well, looks like Skarmish has his own Evangelion this time. At my command, you shall fall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My endless cycle begins. Your ploy <laughs> was to sacrifice the traveler here, was it not? Mm. Nilu, are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. Yeah, what's just gonna do with this one? I... I must admit that I'm a little scared. Ooh. But I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Oh, hmm. Hatham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. More screen time with each character is nice. And there goes the Traveler. Okay. Creating a god. We are using human wisdom to create a god. Huh. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the traveler is already mad at Scar and Mush in regards to the events so far. Yeah. And one more thing. What the fuck is he using? Is that a dull blade or the silver sword? Shit look ridiculous. 